Hi guys, welcome to my channel once again. How are you all doing it today, guys? Like I keep telling you, you can trust me to bring you the gist of this happenings and all the bad words happening in and out of Big Brother Ninja House. Yes, guys, as I speak to you right now, Big Brother Ninja is up and running, and the show is giving what it expected to give. Guys, we all know Ruti is a mother. Yes, yeah, she's the only one that have, apart from the married man, she's the only one that have a child there, and her baby is 15 years. 15 years and Ruthie is 20 something years guys so in this particular episode I'm going Ruthie gave us the full details of how she got pregnant and all of that guys you wouldn't want to miss it but before i continue if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please support me now please support your girl by clicking on the subscribe button and when you do so please turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i post new videos for your pleasures so guys, Ruthie had a conversation with Mayor, a very deep conversation with Mayor. And in that process, Ruthie revealed everything we need to know about her, how she got pregnant, went to school and all of that. So guys, when they started the uh, conversation, Ruthie was, you know, telling Mayor everything about her daughter and how her daughter will feel in her words. Her daughter, she's referring to her daughter here, and she will be. She said, "Her daughter will be like when I grow up. I want to be like you, mommy." And in my, and in her head, Ruthie said she will be like, "I don't want you to be like me. I will always tell her you are going to be a better person." So Ruthie is saying, whenever her daughter said, "Mommy, I want to be like you," she will be like, "No, you can't be like me. You will be a better person. You are better than me." According to her, she said, "Now most of the people." I just feel in my head that I had to be a better person for her. I started learning my lessons. I was focusing on trying to please people, pleasing her because she did not know the word. Eventually, I went to Ghana. I got admission when I was, which was the first breakthrough for me because how did I got from getting pregnant at 16? 16 years guys she was 16 years when she got pregnant for that a beautiful daughter and going into the university she got pregnant in 20, 2009 2009 and six years later she got admission according to ruthie after she got pregnant in 2009 yes she got pregnant in 2009. She was still in secondary school when she got pregnant in 2009. And then she feel like she was like, oh, everything is going to come to an end. How is she going to, you know, her education, she loves, according to her, she said she loves school so much. She would like to pursue her education to any extent that she can. But being pregnant was like, you know, all her dream ended before her eyes but to god be the glory she later went to the university six years later after she was pregnant six years later she gave birth to this beautiful daughter of hers and left her with her parents and went to university according to ruti while she was in school she wanted to be the best version of herself because she wants to make her daughter proud and she wants her daughter to see her in another way and she wants people around her to be like you ruti has changed you know ruti that gave birth to a baby why she was still tender now ruti is now a better person she tried all she could like she, all she could to make sure she 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 portray herself in another level in another way that the baby will be like yo this is my mother according to her giving birth to a baby at that tender age is nothing to record or is short is nothing to write home about that people were just looking at her as some kind of girl who does not want to you know be useful to our society so right now she is a proud mother according to her when she was discussing to mayor she said i started realizing that she is the best because she loves me like the way i am you know when you can feel that this person has an unconditional love for you and this is what you are supposed to reciprocate but you are ashamed of her you are afraid of telling total stranger about your own child because you are trying to please uh, please them people that really don't care about you people will always say 
what they want to say to make themselves feel better and good. I started learning that although I was more exposed to life, I realized that I was forcing my energy on the wrong things instead of the right things. So when she was seven, most of the times, I would not even tell what my mother's decision was. I just have I just knew that oh yeah I had a child and when I was dating I don't used to tell my boyfriend at that time that I was a mom it was like later I started losing in and when I graduated from school I was so according to Ruthie she said she was so very very much in short she don't like telling people at all she don't even know how to present it to people because people will be like yo little girl like you you have a baby that is up to 15 so she like hiding that identity in a way she said she was not proud of her daughter at that time she was not proud of her at all she was so ashamed she was not proud of her she was hiding her but along in short you know you're doing some things for people that don't matter strangers don't matter so she said that along the line she realized that this girl grew up and loved her unconditionally this girl gave her the love that even her parents did not give to her so she had no other option than to reciprocate that love that that girl the little baby that she gave birth to give to her hence the reason why she came out boldly came out boldly and tell anybody that cares to listen and anybody that cares to know that she is a mother of a 15 year old she is a mother to a 50 year old if you want to stay with her you stay if you feel you cannot stay with her because she is a mother then you go because right now she is so proud of herself she's so proud of her daughter she cannot you know hide her daughter for anybody at all no matter who you are she cannot hide uh, your daughter she said if it were before now if it were to be before now when she was you know ashamed of the old situation she wouldn't have been able to come up in big brother to tell the old world that she is a mother of a 15 year old right now she's saying she's a proud mother she's proud of her daughter her daughter is proud of her they love each other so much right now even when she even now that she's in big brother's house she's so missing her daughter so much she wish the daughter could you know come and visit her one day just one day so she misses her daughter she's proud of herself that she is so happy that she did not do anything to that baby when she was small she's so proud of herself that she kept that pregnancy See, she gave birth and now the baby is who she wants to be with every now and then. That, that baby is her biggest motivation. Oh my god, she started crying when she was explaining all of this to Mayor. Ah, Mayor, Mayor is not. Mayor was just looking at her. Mayor cannot even say sorry. So she was explaining all this to Mayor and she was crying seriously. Oh, it is where I feel for her. So, guys, that is that on Ruthie's and her. Uh, BB. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me once again. Please, please click on the subscribe button. And where you do so, please turn on notification bell. So I'll be notified anytime I post new videos for you. Please, thank you, all guys. I love you. Peace out.